Okay, I'll explain some of the parts of this uh, two-wheel balancer. Uh, first of all, it's it's only got two wheels. Front and a rear, steerable front wheel, and a powered rear wheel. And put this back. And it's got a gyroscope to make it balance on the two wheels. And the gyroscope has got uh, this uh, heavy aluminum uh, rotor, uh, 730 grams rotor. It's got a 550 DC motor, and uh, it's powered by a little LiPo battery. And I'll just uh, turn it on. Spins at about, well, it can spin up to 10,000 RPM, but I only run it at about 4,500 RPM. 4,000 to 4,500 RPM. And without any uh, gimbal control, the gyro will balance the vehicle as long as you adjust the gimbal with your fingers. So it's balancing now. vibrates a bit because it's uh, the center hole is not perfect uh, so there's a little play in there and so you've got the, the rotor that balances the vehicle but you have to have something to control the gimbal and this is the gimbal uh, this axis that the gyroscope rotates on and it's controlled by this little uh, DC motor, uh, 395 DC motor. And then the Arduino, Arduino here, I have an Arduino Uno, I have a, a VNH5019 uh, motor driver, and then a sensor plug on top of that just to make it easy to plug in stuff. And so the Arduino controls the, the gimbaled motor and the way it knows how to do that is through this single sensor that I use which is just a fancy potentiometer, a uh, very sensitive potentiometer that's contactless. Um, it has internally a magnet and an IC and so it's not real prone to failures due to vibration, that sort of thing. And so this potentiometer senses the angle of the gimbal. And if it's too far this way, it just it turns the motor on and pulls pulls it or pushes it this way. If it's too far this way, it pushes it back. And so between the sensor and the gimbal motor, uh, this is what keeps the, th the whole thing balanced. And uh, the other stuff that's on here is uh, I've got a... A, a power controller or motor controller ESC for a PMW or PWM. I always get that confused uh, to control the uh, this uh, gyroscope rotor motor, and it's connected to uh, a little 800 me uh, milliamp uh, lipo battery, and then I've got. The radio control gear here, here's an ESC to control this motor um, to give it power to go back and forth. And then uh, this is my radio receiver. And also I have a servo here to control the steering. And the servo is also connected to this potentiometer, which is fed into the Arduino uh, to to tell if if this thing is turning left or right, and if it is turning left or right, it it, it changes the values for the gimbal motor a bit. And so that's about it. And so to start it up, I hook up uh, my big battery 
which drives the uh, motor driver and then uh, drives the the uh, gimbal motor and I have to have a big battery because this actually draws a lot of amps at certain times and so I plug that in and that controls the driver that uh, gives power to the, the motor driver and then I have to plug in the 9 volt or 12 volt to the Arduino Uno Oops. and this switch here turns on the gimbal motor so I don't want it running all the time because it's pretty stressful on the motor. So if I turn it on, then it senses this, and if it's away from zero, it either pushes or pulls to get it back. And so now I just turn on, usually I turn on the power to my RC gear so I can be mobile, but here we're just going to balance it. So I'll turn on my give power to my rotor again from four to five thousand rpm and then turn on the gimbal motor and there it goes It's about 5,000 RPM now. A little shaky. It could do some more tuning. Do with some more tuning. But it handles disturbances really well. You push it away, it'll set it back. At some point it falls over. 